It's the Cornerman Radio, live with Barzini and Boxing On. Let's get into it, man. Keith Thurman versus Omar Figueroa. This fight right here is the fight of the year. Hands down. This fight might happen early next year. Maybe in January, early or the early part of um, the year, or 2018. You talking about somebody who goes hard in the paint? I've never seen nobody vicious as Omar Figueroa. They both, well, Omar Figueroa was the former WBC champion. Keith Thurman is the current WBC champion. I think this fight is going to be next. I want it. It's a good fight for Keith Thurman coming back. It's the only logic fight that you can possibly make right now. I love this, man. I'm glad Keith Thurman is coming back. Yeah, yo, bro. You know, that's why I want to ask. I want to ask you real quick because I want to say I love the fight. I like it, but. If I say I don't see it happening, you got to explain to me why do you think it is possible. That's all I want to hear. Well, the reasons why I think it's possible, they both got a common opponent, Robert Guerrero. They both are Fox fighters. You know, Robert Robert fought Figueroa on Fox. Keith Thurman fought Figueroa on Fox. It's a simple fight to be made. They both heavily ranked in the WBC sanctioning bodies. It's nobody left. Spencer's supposedly fighting um, Peterson. Sean Porter fighting Granados. Danny fighting Brandon Rios. Mikey is um, ordered to fight Linares. It's, It's nobody left. Good you know point. what I'm saying? Um, Adrian Brown is fighting Lucas Matisse. Figaro is the only logic fight. And not only mm-hmm. that, Figaro is saying he has something coming up early 2018. Wait and see who it is going to be on Twitter. So I'm like, yo, it got to be Keith Thurman. One time, chaos for life. Ain't afraid to let Man. it go. Somebody, oh, every, the, both of them are yep. undefeated. <laughs> this, this shit is fireworks, yeah. bro. And, yeah, and that's how I'll, I'll go ahead. I'm figuring out from Texas, so well, what's your yeah. thing on this shit, man? Nah, man, <laughs> I was just going to say, that this is Keith Thurman's motto. I got to O, oh, I'm not afraid to let it go. One time KO's for life. So he got to live and die by that, you know what I mean? So... Mm-hmm. When we think about all these names, you know, like we think of Omar Figueroa, that's a logical choice right there, and that's that's a logical choice where you keep all your credibility. We know you ain't going to jump right in there with Spence, but Omar Figueroa, he he came back. I know the the Robert Guerrero wins a little fabricated, but hey, fuck it, he he beat the shit out of Robert Guerrero. That's what it is. Um, you know, Keith might be thinking, this dude really, does he deserve this fight with me? Can we make money off this fight? Keith's probably thinking, he's probably he's probably wishing, fuck, I wish maybe Amir Khan was more active. You know, because Amir Khan, that would be like a step back, maybe a step forward financially in his pockets. Same with Broner. That would be a reputation step back, but more money in his pocket. Because Keith beat Danny and Porter. What Danny do to Khan, we already know. What did Porter do to Broner? So it kind of be step back fighting Khan or, or Broner. Omar, though, is there. He's got an O, like you said. Keith's got an O. They're not afraid to let it go. This fight makes sense. But there's still something inside me that's like, I know it's the only logic. We can't, you can look on box rec and look at all the names. You know, Danny's fighting Rios. Rios is ranked like number 30, something on box rec. You know, Keith's got to fight. He got to keep that, you know. If anybody deserves a cherry pick, it's Keith. But there ain't even no cherry picking names out there for him to grab. Like Keith don't, 
Keith can't fight anybody in his hometown and, and sell tickets like Wilder can. Wilder can go to Alabama and, and he can fight a poly, whoever the fuck it is. They're going to come out and support him. Same with Crawford and Omaha. For some reason, Thurman doesn't have that those capabilities where he lives, St. Petersburg, Florida. He, he just can't do it. He's got to fight in Barclay or go to someone like Omar's hometown. So, but something inside me is like, damn, I don't know if he's going to pick Omar. This is interesting. I really don't know. I think you bring up great points, though, man. You're the one who – we talked about this this morning. You know, I had brought up Khan, but I was like, man, after thinking about it, you brought up Omar, and it sinks in. And I think the word gets out. I think this fight is realistic, bro, at the end of the day. I think it's realistic. They're going to have to do a good job promoting it. You know, Omar has been out a while, but he came back on Fox, had a great knockout. Keith holds two belts. It's a sellable fight. This will be a fun fight, man, and something to look forward to in January. Because when we talk about when the, if the fight does get made and we talk about stylistically, shit, these, this style meshes well, you know. We have the pressure fighter. Maybe, yeah. Keith's, yeah, Keith's going to be on his back foot, so. I like it, man. Let's see, though. I'm like, oh, I don't know, man. I'm like, there's somebody out there. There's a ghost out there that he's going to pick. I don't, I just, I'm not going to believe the Omar Figueroa until I see it. Because I feel, like I said, I'm going to say the last thing. Like, I feel deep down inside Keith's going to be like, well, are people going to respect this fight? If, if, if we all come out and, you know, talk about this fight and talk about how credible it is, then Keith will, I think he'll pick it. But he's going to be thinking, you know, when they're interviewing Keith, I know he's going to be like, well, you know, what did Omar really do? He beat Robert, you know, this and that, you know, because, you know, Omar, he's got a few questionable, you know, his hand always hurt, you know. But, well, I mean, whatever, man. It's a good fight. Really ain't got much else to say on it. But it's a good fight. It's definitely a good fight. And it's a fight that Keith, shit, Keith. You know what I mean? If he doesn't come prepared, Omar Figueroa, that's that, that's that baby face assassin. You know what I mean? If he's on his game that night, shit, he could outwork anybody in that ring. He could outwork you. He's going to land some vicious, clean shots on that dude, though, because he's easy to hit. But he takes them shots like fucking Golovkin takes shots. They got them iron chins. But let's Go see, ahead. bro. 